My name is Leon Skeppers. Um, I'm the co-owner and the managing director of Kennedy Catamarans. I run the yard and I'm quite closely involved in, in all aspects of the yard and uh, the build of the boats and the planning and everything that goes with it. The way we, we build the boat, um, first of all, all the parts of the boat are infused. So we, we start with um, laying up the, the hulls of the boat um, and, and the bridge deck of the boat. And then those parts are tabbed together. Now, just to explain a bit about infusion, um, it's really a manner of putting all your, your whole laminate stack down dry and then sucking the, the resin through the job. Um, under vacuum and uh, what it does is it, it there are no voids in the pot you know so you get a really structurally integrated pot and then these pots are, are uh, tabbed together so we try to uh, to lay up uh, quite a number of these pots and obviously the holes in the bridge deck etc so that when it comes to assembly things go relatively quickly but yeah we, we basically start with the two holes in the bridge deck then we install the bulkheads they get tabbed in uh, tanks, floors, etc. Then we start on the saloon, put the window surrounds on, uh, put the roof on, and at this stage you, you're basically ending up with a, a whole deck of bulkheads. You know, you've got the basic structure of the boat. And then we start primary assembly, which is really more the, um, the non-structural bits of the boat, like building the heads inside and the aft cockpit lockers and the seating and the nav table and the helm stations, etc., etc. And you know, every boat is different, so there's quite a bit of design work goes into, into this. Then the composite parts of the boat are complete. Then the boat is post-cured, which really realizes the, the full properties of the epoxy resin and the, and the carbon. And then we start with the fit out of the boat, um, fitting engines, pumps, air conditioning, etc., etc. And by this stage, the, the furniture is in construction. So um, after post gear, we start fitting the furniture. Yeah, and then, then the furniture's in, and then, then you can start with the fit out of the boat. Then you start getting closer to, to more of the detail of the boat. Flooring, uh, fixtures and fittings, etc., etc. Yeah, and, and that's basically the rundown of the build. Yeah, we, we're very fortunate that we've got the space to, to have a commissioning bay. Once the boat is fitted out and she's ready to be launched, we, we wheel her over into the commissioning bay. Once she's in the commissioning bay, we're able to test most of the systems on the boat, run the engines, run the air cons, pumps, etc., etc. We can also step the mast over the years arranged with the municipality so that there are no telephone lines and electric lines between ourselves and our launching area. Um, so we can step the mast there, we can fit the sails, we can do all the mast wiring. This is a real benefit because once you're on the water and you've got to work on the water, it, it takes like three times longer to do these things and it costs three times more to do these things. Having the commissioning bay is a, is a huge bonus. We can, we can get the boat up to like 90%, 99%. And when she goes in the water, she's practically ready to go sailing. And uh, that's obviously a huge benefit to the yard. Well, we, we do all our work in-house. Very little is actually shopped out. So if, if an off cockpit is different to a previous boat, we can manufacture the tooling for that within a few days. You know, all, all the tooling for this boat 
um, we have built in house the hulls, the decks, the window surrounds, the roof tooling, and then in, uh, you know many, many, many small parts that go into making the boat. It's all been designed and tooled up inside, you know, by Kennedy Catamarans. Our infusion team is probably one of the best infusion teams I've ever worked with. They were originally trained by um, the guy who taught Boeing how to do their infusion. We've never had a part that we've had to throw away. Um, the guys are really on it and they're all led by um, Vic Savage. Uh, Vic actually runs our whole, uh, whole deck and bulkheads and, and primary assembly team and he also oversees the infusion team. When we infuse a part we have um, basically two ways to make sure that the part is going to be, is going to be good. Um, first of all, we have a, a, a vacuum gauge. You know, when you, when you pull a vacuum on the job, you want to see that gauge drop. If the gauge is not dropping, then you know you've got a problem, you've got a leak somewhere. So obviously the, the really important part is that you don't have any leaks because then you're going to be sucking air through that job. We also have a, a, a ultrasonic sound gauge and you can go, you go around the job and you make sure because even the smallest leak will, will emit an ultrasonic sound. The resin has a very low viscosity, that's almost like water. Um, it's, the resin is by Gurit, which we believe is one of the best manufacturers around. And then it takes about 24 hours for that part to, uh, to cure sufficiently that you can demold it and actually use it. Our, our infusion team is really really uh, one of the best I've ever worked with. You know the benefit of working with carbon fiber is that you can um, build a lighter structure and and have the same stiffness as you would for a, 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 a say an e-glass part but it would be much heavier. Carbon isn't necessarily stronger than e-glass but carbon makes the structure much stiffer. You know, obviously on a boat you don't want the, the boat to be moving, it'll actually affect your sail plan and your trimming of your sails, etc. So carbon gives you the, the opportunity to build a light boat just as stiff as you would have to build a heavy boat just as stiff with e-gloss. And obviously on a catamaran, weight is a major issue in terms of performance and we are building perform high performance boats. Um, so really you want to you be building this in, in carbon fiber. and. Yeah, carbon gives you the ability to, to build a very light, very stiff structure. You know, and on our boat, our, our mast is made of carbon, the boom is carbon, even the standing rigging is carbon. 3DI sails come standard with the boat and they've got carbon filaments in them so there's no stretch in those sails, they last a very long time. So everything is tuned to give you this very light, very stiff structure. Talking about the whole design process from the design to the manufacturing of the boat, the carbon mast, etc. And all of these things are obviously geared to, to minimize the weight of the boat. So it's pointless doing all of these things if, you, if you're using solid wood joinery, etc. etc. Um, which obviously adds a lot of weight to the boat. So we use a product called Tricell, which is a cord uh, material. And we have veneers uh, pressed onto this. All our corners and edging we do use solid timber so that um, the, the furniture doesn't wear or damage. But all the furniture pieces are extremely light. You know, you can pick up the whole galley counter by yourself quite, quite easily. And even when it comes to the countertops, um, we use a, a carbon substrate and we only, the, the countertops are only 6 millimeters thick. Even though they look like they're 30 millimeters thick. Um, so everything is, is geared towards reducing weight. Um, even our basins, you know, we've made the tooling in-house and our basins are made of carbon. And you can imagine for us, if you weigh a ceramic basin and you, look, you weigh a carbon basin, a carbon basin weighs a couple of grams compared to a ceramic basin which will weigh a few kilograms. Like I said, the furniture, the countertops, the basins, everything is geared towards reducing weight. If you look at one of our boats, you will note that there are no liners on the inside of the boat. And as far as I know, it's the only boat in the world that is like this. I think it's probably cost prohibitive for other builders to, to do this. 
but our boat is fared and painted on the inside and the outside complete, which obviously means uh, a lot of pre-design work has to go into conduiting, etc., etc. You know, for lighting, for example, in the ceilings, because all those conduits are actually built into the structure. And then we have a, a very good fairing team, about 12 guys. Uh, we've split them into two teams. Um, and they, they fare the inside and the outside of the, of the boat. And they are um, led by Mishlangani, who I've worked before with in, in, in other yards. And Mishlangani is uh, really one of the best fairing team leaders that I've, yeah, you know, I haven't come across a better one. Uh, considering that the boat has to be fared inside as well, it is an absolutely massive job. So that is probably one of the single biggest jobs in, on the boat is fairing the boat inside and outside. And then Mshlangani also sprays the boat. So he has a massive responsibility on his shoulders and, and we're extremely happy with his work. If I'm not on the shop floor, you, you need to know that you've got a guy on the shop floor that, um, that knows what it's about. Jan Rosse is one of those guys. Um, he's got as much experience as I have and probably more. He was involved in the, in the first gunboats that were built in Cape Town. You know, he's, he's worked in China, he's worked at HH. And Jan is a real, uh, you know, he's German. <laughs> so he's a real stickler for, for detail. He's worked for a lot of the top yards in the world and we are very fortunate to have him working at Kennedy Catamarans. We build a highly customised boat. Every boat so far has been different. You know, I think in this market, an owner expects to get what he wants. With our in-house design team, you know, this is possible. Um, like I said, we, we see and see a lot of the parts in-house, and we've got two in-house designers, uh, Don Brink and Jean-Dre Mayer, and um, they're constantly busy designing furniture, designing new parts for primary assembly, etc. You know, every, every boat is different, apart from just the countertops and the wood veneers that they are choosing and the flooring and the paint colours, you know, those are really basic changes. The, the more critical changes come when it comes to the layout of the boat or the layout of the aft cockpit or, you know, um, where you're going to be fitting doors and where you're going to, these kind of things. And, and we're able to, to do all of this. And uh, I remember one client saying, um, oh, the Kinetic are uh, open to practically everything because they've done everything that I wanted them to do. You know, and, and, and this is what we'd like to do. Some people are, are keen kite boarders. Um, some people are keen fishermen. Other people are keen divers. You know, a boat like this enables you to, to obviously do all of these things. And we try to incorporate the needs of the client into, into every build that we do. On Bob's boat, you know, he's a very keen fisherman, so we've put in extra rod holders for him and we installed a live bait well tank. We try to listen to the client and to incorporate and to, to make it easier for them to, you know, to, to enjoy these uh, hobbies and, and pastimes that they enjoy. You know, we, we work very closely with the client to make sure that they, that they, they, that they get what, you know, what they want and, and that, that it'll work for them. When clients contact us, they, it, it either comes via a boat show, the person has seen a, a boat at the show, or obviously through our website or social media, and they would contact us through the website, and they would email us. And the first point of contact would normally be Bob, my, my business partner. Um, he's very involved in what's happening here. And if the person's getting really serious, then they'll uh, generally come and visit the yard in South Africa. Some obviously buy, already signed the contract at the, uh, at the boat show. And then from there, the discussion would, we would probably patch in uh, the designers, Simone Svoegte as well. Um, and then more and more ourselves here at the yard would start getting involved and Don and Jandre would get, start getting involved in the, in the actual design work and, and the layouts and uh, that kind of thing. But invariably, all the owners will come and visit the yard, come and see what it's about to see what's possible and, and this builds obviously a very good relationship with, with the client. Bob and I are, you know, we work very well together and yes, we are the, the two people that, that a client would be discussing with. We don't have any brokers, you know, you're buying the, the boat directly from the yard. The owner would be dealing with the two owners of the company. The whole philosophy of 
Kennedy Catamarans is to, to bring the fun back into sailing. Um, you know, on a, on a lot of high performance boats, you almost need a crew to sail the boat. Right from the outset, Bob and I wanted to create a boat that, um, that is easy to sail and not a schlep for the owner to, to sail. And part of this is to automize a lot of things. But when I say automize, it's just really um, pushing a button and you're trimming the main sheet or pushing a button and the, and the traveler moves, um, you know, that kind of thing. We've tried to make the boat easy to sail for a couple. In fact, um, some of our boats are, it's really just one person that's, that's doing all the sail handling. And this is all possible because of push button sailing. You know, we have a very good electrical team on board. Our systems are designed by Key Electronics. They can actually connect with the boat and troubleshoot the systems remotely from America, you know, no matter where you are in the world. There are obviously drawings for absolutely everything. You know, every wire is marked, everything is labeled. But essentially, we want to create a boat that, is, that, is, that you can use easily and sail easily and that a couple can enjoy without having a, to have a, a, a crew on board. With this being a, a high-end boat, as you said, uh, we were called the, the, the Tesla of sailboats. We, we've partnered with a lot of different companies throughout the world. For example, Key Electronics, uh, Master and Build Our Mast. Uh, we've got one of the, the best riggers, as far as I'm concerned, in the, in the world here yeah, in South Africa, Chris Book, and he, he helps us to step the mast and to dress the mast, make sure everything's good there. Key Electronics, who's at the forefront of, of, of electronic design when it comes to boats. Offshore spas build our, build our boom. Even the composites we use, we, we use Gurit, which is the, for, you know, the company in the forefront of, of composites uh, with their resins and their core materials, etc. So I'd like to think we are using the best of the best. We also have, our, if you like, our own in-house commissioning skipper, Colin Marshall. He's really well experienced when it comes to sailing systems. And then we work with uh, North Sails for uh, obviously the sails of the boat. And as mentioned, 3DI sails come standard with our boat. It is the best sail out there. So we've, we've really tried to, you know, to, to partner with the best in the world. We can't accept second best. You know, you, you're trying to do the very best that you can and having the very best on board is, is what can achieve that. To me, what, what sets us apart is that there really is no other boat out there like what we built. You know, right from the fairing and the painting and that there are no liners in the boat. The, atten the attention to detail, listening to what the client wants, the systems on board, all of these things create a, a really unique boat. Um, and as I said, there is nothing else out there like this. This is really what drives us. And, and to me, what sets us apart is there is really no other boat out there and a, and a yard that will go to the lengths that we go to to make sure that the client gets what he wants. It's very important to have the, the right people on board and there is a lot of pride in the factory. A boat like this, you know, people's lives are going to depend on it. This is something that we make very clear to the people working on the shop floor, that there is no room for cutting corners and, and taking chances. So everybody's very aware of that and, and every boat that, that's launched, we take the whole crew, we're about 50 people here in the factory and after a boat is launched we have a barbecue and we put everybody on the boat and we go for a sail and you can see there's an immense amount of pride in the factory for, for what we are doing and people are encouraged to, to speak up if there's an issue or if they see something or if there's an improvement that they can make. I'd like to think that it, it makes a difference. Um, the guys are, are very proud of what they are doing. I, I love our brand, obviously, and all of our staff love the brand. I hope you enjoyed uh, visiting the factory, meeting the team, seeing our processes. Thank you for visiting.